Milk ponies. Th oh no. It's an inevitability that I changed my pony form. At least it fits the theme of the video, I suppose. It's almost as if this was deliberate. Yay, ponies! Pony, Mary in no pony, way, pony, shape, pony, or form pony. reflects my true inner excitement for more pony, pony content. Pony, pony, pony. It's about time I saddled up again to talk about MLP, which is riding its way back to relevancy by giving us a double helping of content with a new animated short series on YouTube and a Netflix series and specials coming later this year. The new animated shorts, and I do mean short, dropped on YouTube this week based on the generation 5 of My Little Pony called Tell Your Tale. It's in one word. Wholesome. There are short slice of life episodes showing what the new G5 characters are up to after the events of the movie. You know, other than tidying up after Sprout's mess. Collateral damage? What's that? Though the animation style and look is not really my cup of tea, that is not how you leg. I did enjoy the writing and the humour, even if it was a little fast paced. These are only five minutes long after all. From the main characters fixing up Sunny's lighthouse, Zip starting up a flight school, reluctantly. Hitch's crab, Sir Stips a lot. I love that name by the way. Being a wannabe kaiju, Zip and Pip moving out of Zephyr Heights to live with Sunny and Izzy being, well, Izzy. Apparently there were going to be 70 of these episodes in total. Yeah, I'm not all that excited about them, but yeah, I like to think of this as what pony life should have been. Short, simple, cute, five minute episodes doing fun, simple, character focused stories, something the franchise has always been good at, but in a shorter runtime. And let's face it, could anyone stand more than five minutes worth of watching Pony Life? Oh, by the way, you should totally watch my video on this show Pony Life. I somehow managed to talk about that show for over nine minutes. I call that an achievement. Okay, so many fans are still a little miffed that the G5 movie did nothing to explain anything about the events between G4 and G5. I being one of them. Insert shameless plug to get you guys to watch my review for the MLP G5 movie year. But I want to look at this miniseries for what it is. Something to tide us over until the Netflix series Make Your Mark launches next month, which will be animated in full CGI. That will be interesting since this will be the first MLP series in CGI. This series will be much more about self-discovery and hopefully will be more sophisticated than Tell Your Tale is. It's very unlikely it's going to be anywhere near the level of sophistication as G4 and admittedly I would have preferred to have a 20 minute long 2D animated series instead of a CGI series because I am seriously concerned about the drop in quality in regards to CG animation from the feature-length movie to a Netflix series. But I'm still looking forward to it anyway. I know many fans will be hung up on the gaps in the lore, but I just want to enjoy Tell Your Tale for what it is and set all my questions aside until the Netflix series is released, at least for now. I'm hoping that the Netflix series will go back into the lore of the show a little more. Even if it skims the surface, I hope some gaps of the lore will be filled with canonical content instead of having to be filled by fan theories. Fan theories are basically serving as spackling paste at this point. There are so many holes here. Also, could this character be a descendant of Derpy? I'd like to think so. I am Mad Munchkin. Stay creative.